A Facebook picture of a dog that appeared to have its mouth taped shut had people in Oregon criticizing police for it, not taking action. So what really happened here? Why didn't police take the dog from its owners? Tim Becker has the answer. It started as a possible animal abuse case here on this street. Turns out it wasn't true, but by the time police were able to verify that, well, a social media tornado had already ripped through the small town of Malala. People began to blog and post uh, and in an angry way. Police Chief Rod Lusich tells me the uproar began when someone shared this picture of their neighbor's German Shepherd on one of the town's community Facebook pages. It looks like the dog's muzzle is taped shut, unable to drink or pant on a hot day. But when Malala police investigated, they found a homemade muzzle fashioned from duct tape and cloth strapped on behind the dog's ears. The officer put his fingers in around the muzzle, could get the fingers in around so the dog could breathe and pant and drink and bark. <laughs> is there a cruelty issue? Uh, the officer uh, felt clearly that there was not. Trouble is, it was too late. Facebook postings would lead to a small crowd gathering outside the dog owner's house, demanding that police do something. We can't uh, take action and arrest somebody for something that they didn't do. Yeah, that was crazy. The dog's owner tells me the makeshift muzzle was simply to prevent their dog from harassing their chickens. We wanted to train our dog to to get along with their chickens, and so that's what we were trying to do. Uh, it clearly was not an abuse. Not abuse, but Chief Lusich was still left dealing with a Facebook fallout. Off camera, the person who posted the picture tells me she now regrets it, but says the upside is people have now decided to pitch in and help the family with its dog training issue.